वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश इलेवन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स दैट इज बैंडिंग एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज ड्रॉ द शेयर एंड मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर द पाइप द एंड स्क्रू इज सब्जेक्टेड टू हॉरिजेंटल फोर्स ऑफ फाइव किलो न्यूटन एंड द हिंट गिवन इज द रिएक्शन एट द पिन सी मस्ट बी रिप्लेस बाय एन इक्वल लोड एट पॉइंट बी ऑन द एक्सिस ऑफ द पाइप सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द पाइप एंड एट थ्रेड सेक्शन वी हैव अ फाइव किलो न्यू एक्सियल लोड एंड वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द शेयर फोर्स एंड बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्राम हिंट इज गिवन दैट द रिएक्शन एट सी मस्ट बी रिप्लेसड यू हैव टू फाइंड द रिएक्शन एंड देन यू हैव टू ट्रांसफर द रिएक्शन ऑफ दिस एट द एक्सिस ऑफ द पाइप एट पॉइंट बी सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट यू कैन सी देर इज अ रोलर सपोर्ट विच विल एग्जल्ट अ वर्टिकल force only in downward direction let this force is represented as r a clear and if you remove this pin support at point c so you will be having a reaction force in horizontal direction which is equal to r c x and there will be a vertical reaction which will be in opposite direction to r a and that will be equal to r c y so first we will find this r a r c x and r c y by using equation of equilibrium so equation of equilibriums which will apply are the first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moments about point c is equal to 0 taking the counter clockwise movement as positive so about point c these two forces are passing through it they are not producing movement so the movement which is producing uh, the the force which is producing movement about point c is this r a into perpendicular distance is this one which is 400 mm and it is producing counter clockwise movement so it will be positive so i will write it r a into 400 400 mm in meter is 0.400 clear the second moment about point c is this force which is 5 kilo newton into perpendicular distance between them is 80 mm and it is producing clockwise so it will be negative clear it will be negative so i will write minus 5 into 0.080 meter so 80 mm is 0.080 meter and their sum must be equal to 0 so it means that 0.4 ra is equal to 5 uh, into 0.080 so from here you will get ra is equal to 5 into 0.080 divide by 0.4 so when you calculate it you will get ra is equal to 1 kilo newton clear you have ra so you can apply equation of equilibrium the second equation of equilibrium which is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so you can see ra is downward so minus 1 plus rcy which is upward is equal to 0 so it means that rcy is also equal to 1 kilo newton now we'll find this rcx by using equation of equilibrium and that is the sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to 0 and force in this direction is taken as positive so 5 kilo newton is in opposite direction so minus 5 plus rcx is equal to 0 so it means that rcx is equal to 5 kilo newton now you have all these reaction forces and we are going to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so for that i have to draw this pipe clear so at this point we have 5 kilo newton i will write it 5 kilo newton i will choose another color and at point a we have uh we have uh ra which is acting downward there so this is ra is also equal to 1 kilo newton this is point b clear and the hint that is given at the reaction at c pin c must be replaced by equivalent load at point b so it means that we have to move this rx rcx to point b clear so this is rcx and rcx is 5 kilo newton 
so when you move this rcx to this point so there will be rcx and due to this rcx and the perpendicular distance we will be having a moment in clockwise direction which will be equal to rcx multiplied by this 80 millimeter which is 0 0.80 millimeter clear and that is equal to 0 0.4 clear so what we will do is that we will replace here we will having a moment as well in clockwise direction which is 0 0.4 kilo newton into meter i will write this moment will be equal to rcx multiplied by 80 millimeter so 80 millimeter is 0 0.080 and rcx is 5 so 5 multiplied by 0 0.080 and this moment will be equal to 0 0.4 kilo newton into meter i will write this moment okay and you can see you have rcx as well at point b clear so rcx is again 1 kilo newton okay now we are going to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so we will take the two lines from the supports are the load where it, it acts so these are the vertical lines so we will first take a horizontal line for drawing the shear force so this is horizontal line and this x show the length the total length is 400 millimeter so you can see at this point we have ra which is acting downward and ra is minus one it's clear so let one division is equal to minus one here we have v which is in v is shear force which is in kilo newton so minus one so moving from this point a there is no other vertical load so shear force will remain same till end so i will draw a horizontal line till end and at the end you can see you have rcx which is acting upward which is one kilo newton so minus one plus one will bring it to zero so this is your shear force diagram now we will draw the bending moment diagram so again we will take a horizontal line which shows the length and here on y-axis we have uh, moment which is equal to the unit will be kilo newton into meter and the area under the shear force diagram will give you the moment and this area is rectangular so its height is minus one and width is 400 millimeter which is 0 0.0 uh, 0 0.4 meter so minus one multiplied by 0 0.400 is equal to minus 0 0.4 and unit will be kilo newton into meter so at point a we have moment is equal to 0 because x is equal to 0 and at the end let this point is minus 0 0.4 kilo newton into meter you can take it as per your own scale and you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with a negative area so bending moment will be one degree higher and it will be slope will be decreasing because the area was negative under the shear force diagram so we will join them by using a straight line clear so this is the point minus 0 0.4 and now you can see at the end you have a moment of 0 0.4 kilo newton that is clockwise so while drawing bending moment diagram it should be taken upward so minus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 will bring it to 0 so this will be your bending moment diagram clear and that was all about this problem 6-11. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching and supporting me.